Welcome to this short tutorial about gradients in Lua. Sometimes we want to spice up our displays a little bit because the solid color just doesn't cut it. So in this video I'll be showing you how to create a function that you can copy and paste into your code that automatically creates a smooth two color gradient. It's worth noting that you can also combine these functions in order to make gradients that flow between as many different colors as you want. So without further ado, let's get started. To start, let's define what a gradient should be. Although it may appear smooth, a gradient or a gradient ramp is actually a transition from one color to another. To make the illusion of continuity, the color is changed very slightly on every next pixel. We don't notice the small change and perceive it as two colors stretched together. If colors in Lua are defined by a red value, a green value, and a blue value, it stands to reason that we must shift each one of these values by a little bit to eventually make up the second color that we want to transition into. Take, for example, a very basic transition from black to white. The red, green, and blue channels would all have to increase by 255 from zero over a distance to make white at the end. That distance is also very important when making a gradient. By setting how long we want the gradient box to be, we are also directly changing the increments that change our RGB values. In the previous example, we can take a full 255 pixels to transition, meaning our values would go up by one pixel every time. Or we could take 50 pixels to transition, in which case we would have to increase each value by 5.1 for every pixel passed. Now that we know how a gradient works, we can begin working on the algorithm that makes the transition. Even though I'll be writing this code in Lua, the same function can be executed in pretty much any language. The first thing we gotta do is define our function gradient. Open the bracket right after and start defining our variables. These will be our function's inputs. We need an x and a y position to start our gradient, the height and the width of our gradient. We'll start at a horizontal one first. Next, we need RGB values for our first color, then RGB values for our last color. Let's also put an end statement to finish off our function. Second, let's initiate our for loop. This is a loop that checks whether a certain condition is true, and if so, performs some arithmetic. In this case, the loop will generate one small rectangle at a time, changing its color until it reaches the desired width of the gradient. Write for i equals zero, meaning that we start at zero pixels away from our starting point. Go up until our desired width in increments of one pixel. Hit enter and write the statement do. Hit enter again and end the for loop. In English, this reads, start at zero and go up by one until you reach the width. Every time you go up by one, the code inside the for loop will repeat. So we'll put our color change and rectangle drawing functions inside this loop. Write the set color function in the next line. You can put in the RGB variables of our first color because the gradient will start from here. Now, what we want is for every time that the for loop repeats, the color for each value goes up by the difference between it and the second color over the width. Let's say we want to transition the red value from 4 to 24, and the gradient must be 40 pixels wide. Plugging those numbers in, we get a shift of 0.5 in the red value for every pixel. This is correct. Finally, multiply this expression by i, that way as the for loop progresses, i will grow from 0 to the width. And make sure to add a plus sign before, that way we start at our first red value. To display each one of these rectangles, we also need to add a draw rectangle full function into the next line. The x position becomes x plus i since we want the for loop to generate all the rectangles from left to right. The y position stays the same. The width becomes 1 because the width of our original gradient is split up into singular pixels, and the height too will remain the same. If you want to add an opacity element, simply declare two more variables in your function brackets and then add a fourth expression into your set color function. When you use this function in your code, just write gradient with brackets and make sure to fill in all the variables accurately. If you did everything right, this should generate a smooth gradient between any two colors on your screen. That's it for me today, and I will see you in the next one.